Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. It is 6 p.m. Well, it's actually now 6.34 p.m. on the afternoon or evening of uh, Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. And it is time for gratitude and prayer list prayers. Alexa, cancel. I am grateful for the uh, for food as always. I tonight I've got a package of the salmon that I bought recently because it's still in the fridge and I haven't cut it up and stored it yet. Um, I'm probably gonna have I'm gonna have some salmon tonight, and I'm also gonna make a split pea soup in the crock pot. Um, so I'm I'm thrilled about that. I, I I love to cook. I really do, and I'm so grateful to have a house to be able to do it in and. And uh, the money to be able to buy that food, you know, to do that because uh, I have a lot of variety in the food I can prepare, and uh, a grocery store with decent enough, you know, variety close to me. I mean, I have variety in in, in my diet as well as like you know the things I I, I attempt to uh, to make and go after and, and like to eat and. Um, and a grocery store with decent enough quality produce close by. So yeah, I'm grateful for all of that. I'm really grateful for today, what happened today. Um, I told a friend of mine that I'm so delighted that my initial plans actually failed because what came of that was even better in terms of you know this ministry and uh, it was a much better point honestly and the fact of the matter is if we want to do you know if we want to make an effort toward that that's doable also so I didn't really you know I maybe lost it this morning but that's not a real big deal something that's more important to uh, you know what I am trying to preach in this ministry as part of this this ministry for drug addicts and others who would benefit from it um, that got accomplished today, so I have to say that, you know, wow. That's really, really amazing. And I thank the Lord for that. So, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for our leaders in government, our President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and all members of the U.S. Congress. In California, we pray for our Governor Gavin Newsom and his family.
San Mateo County. We pray for all police, fire, and emergency personnel, as well as the uh, Human Services Agency, the Department of Housing, and for all county agencies and workers not specifically named. In South San Francisco, we pray for our Mayor Mark and all members of the South San Francisco City Council. In San Francisco, we pray for Mayor London Breed and all members of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. We pray for all those suffering through homelessness at the present time, for all victims of COVID-19 and COVID-19 long hauler syndrome, for abode services and life moves, both of which help homeless people find, get into, and stay in housing, and for clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependency. You know, I, I make a mention here that finally, on the 1st, July 1st, I have I have a I'm sorry I'm thinking I've got another important thing to like running through my mind at the same time that kind of is nearby the same date and everything I'm just kind of it's going through my mind here um, I have a doctor's appointment on the first um, with the Stanford uh, Medical Clinic down there. They had their post-acute COVID-19 um, clinic. The first one, you know, directly for my long hauler symptoms. I made it six months ago. I had to wait this amount of time. I cannot remember whether it's a video interview or in person. I have to check up on that. And also, they have had trouble getting my COVID results, which are in the same system that they're on network with. And I don't know why that is. Um, my doctor's office offered to fax them down there and then said, they, well, they should be able to get it. You know, but so what I'm gonna have to do is if they can't tell them that my doctor said that, have them talk to them and, and straighten that out um, either there or at the time of the appointment. Um, so, yeah. All right. So we also pray for all ministries inside and outside of the church, for all clergy and all religious and for lay leaders alike, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Hanley Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordeleone, St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno, Sea Episcopal Church in South San Francisco and San Bruno, the Diocese of California, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, Reverend Patrick Driscoll, St. Veronica's Catholic Church, South San Francisco, the Reverend Deborah Hawkins, Bishop Louis Jeleno, St. Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno, the Reverend David Grant Smith, and Emmanuel Church in Newport, Rhode Island. I also pray for all members of my family. Especially my father Alex and my mother Cheryl. And right now, I want to include in prayers for my family, I want to add Andrew Marmelstein in here, who, you know, I, I normally He's part of my extended human family, and, and in a very real sense, 
you know, I could also add a lot of other names to that list in here, boom, and, and put them in there. But right now, um, I'm just feeling that with Andrew, that, it, you know, I'm doing that right now. Um, so we pray for him. Um, as well as Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer, Joshua Jesse, Ben and Max, my brothers, Mark Jesse and Diane Darling, Bob Ottaviano, Anna and Theata Crumbie, Jocelyn Gerard, Donna Brown, and Diane Carlson. I also pray for these members of my extended human family. I name aloud now, beginning with Junior Irwin, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosinus, Keegan Forbes, Michael Mould, Coulter and Rhiannon, Richard Simmons, Jim White, Dave Maloney, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetich, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Hostomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Raul and Barbara Laborde, Mike Smith, Margie Burke and her family, Kyle Andrew Schofield, Laura and Lydia, Jason Hayes, Jack and Ramit and their family, Gino and his family, Charles Ratcliffe, Chris Reinhardt, Dustin Keast, Norma Leakey, I'm sorry, Norma Leakey should be in the memorials, but the Lord won the image. That's fine, because she's still living. Matthew Russian, Tyler Davis, Daniel Fonseca, Michael and Corey, Ryan, Dean Barchetto, Pat Ford, Tina, Keith, Alexander, Matthew Mustashkin, Kevin Johansson, the Republicano family, Tyler Jordan Lowe, Tyler Smith, Charles and Kim Flyler and their family, Anita, David, Michael and his mother, Al, Cheeseburger, Kenny, Kendrick, Dylan, Charlene Myers, Jeffrey Marmelstein, Steve Buiza, the Pacific Family Medicine Clinic staff, Beth Lewis, Ken McCune, Bob and Alice Katz, Jen and Jesse, Steve Manini, Larry Lawton, Gabby Giffords, Jeff Henkel, Mark Zuckerberg and his family, John, Bill O'Reilly, Christopher Henning, Scott Akers, Debbie, George Jetson, Lil Kim, Gustavo Caldas, John Shuck, Greg Flowers, Rick Rivero, Andy Han, Stephen and Bernadette Connolly, the people of Ukraine, Skeeter, Russell, Vladimir Putin, Xander Wilkinson, Tom, Carl Porino, Steve Wilkinson, Rich and Sue Wilkinson, Angel Hernandez, Clinton Russell, 
and the Dental Practice of Robert P. Olson in San Mateo and all the, uh, the great dental staff they had there. It's an incredible team. And last but not least, we pray for all those that have passed on from this life, inside and outside the faith and fear of the Lord, especially the holy souls in purgatory and the church triumphant, as well as the repose of the souls of Howard Connolly, Christine Baker, the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, Nick Lee, Mickey McGee, Keith Lloyd, James, Dustin Rasmussen, John Judicki, Anita Rossmeyer, Phil D. Martino, Father Benedict Reed, Winfred and Mary Ann Johnson, Demetrius Fleming Davis, John Gotti, my grandparents on both sides, Jay Darling, Tyler White, Ron Popeil, Priscilla, Edison, Sean Bowman, Bob Dole, Betty White, Bob Saget, Harry Reed, Adolfo Caldas, Bill Brown, the Mariposa family, Lori Ram, Robert E. Phelan, Norma Leedke, George Saldivar, the victims of the Uvalde, Texas Elementary School shooting, excuse me, Jaime Escalante, and Levi. So much on my mind, you know, right at this moment, and uh, it's, I mean, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. It's just uh, wow. And this is part, you know. I I also don't want to give the impression, by the way, too, in saying that that like. My mind is, you know, not here with this too. This is, it's, it's all part of it, believe me. It all plugs into it. It's just that instead of today, like the focus only being only that and not so much things coming into my mind is that there's so much um, dovetailing and harmonizing and kind of jumping in with it, you know, as well. And that's not a bad thing, really, you know, because prayer really is a, is 
deals with everything that we encounter in life. Right? Other people, praying about life situations, everything concerning God, which is everything. And especially when it's happy, you know what I mean? For example, you know, I mean, if I was sitting here consumed with worries about it, it would be the same thing, right? But at the same time, you know, there's much less of a of an incentive to, to be uh, welcoming of that, right? So, but in the case of this, where there's much to be thankful for and excited about, and to be grateful and loving about, um, I can only welcome it, you know? O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everybody. I'm going to close in the usual way, remind you and you all and remind me to brush your teeth as much as possibly can, to floss especially and most especially to say your prayers because that's what enables the, does, you know what, no that's not true, it doesn't, I was going to say it enables the grace, like people get grace all the time everywhere whether they pray or not and it's kind of good that God isn't like, you don't pray, fuck you. You know what I mean? God isn't like that at all. So, like, I don't, you know, maybe that's not the right word, but I think you know what I mean there. It's important, nonetheless, if you're so inclined, to be plugged in with God. All right, everybody, I love you all, and peace.